Hello and welcome again to my workshop. I've had a lot of people over the last week uh, send me an email saying that uh, they would like to know how I put the Moaning Lisa together in AdCam. So I've put this little video together to show you exactly how I took a grayscale image and put it directly into AtCam and um, processed it in AtCam. Now if you're interested, the best way to view the uh, video of uh, me machining this is to go to my website, go to videos and uh, you will find it uh, here as I'm indicating. So the end product was quite impressive, uh, straight off the 6012 without any finishing at all. Um, I'm just indicating here the, uh, the you know the real size of the product. Um, now this is the actual grayscale uh, which I, I took at the time, um, which indeed I'm going to take now um, and put into at cam and make the 3D relief from a grayscale. Now there's 256 different shades of grey that ArtCam recognises. And I'm just actually pointing out here that the lighter to, to white colour, um, ArtCam recognises as something in the foreground. And also the to the other end of the scale, the blacker, the, the grayscale picture, the deeper it is. So what you need to do is open up at cam and reduce it to a, a smaller size. Then just drag and drop your grayscale picture straight into at cam. The first thing you'll need to do is fill in the model dialog box, which is fairly self-explanatory. You just uh, fill in your available size for X and, and Y. Um, but the, I think actually what I do in the moment, I actually forget myself and I didn't fill in the resolution, uh, which I, I think you'll see in a minute that I come back on myself. And I'm just indicating here now actually that it's millimeters and I'm changing it, the orientation of the, the model or the program to the center of the material. And now I... <laughs> I discover, oh yes, well, I need to raise that up from 300 um, to about a thousand points, which is, is fine for this. And uh, then I have to resize it. Actually, off subject just a, a little bit. Uh, the reason I am doing uh, these type of videos, two reasons. Uh, one, uh, I am now sponsored by uh, at cam and the second reason is um, at the moment it's high winter and uh, I can't work in my workshop uh, at least film because you wouldn't hear a word I was saying because we got hail and really bad weather so upon filling that dialog box in at cam immediately converts it to a relief, a 3D relief. However, it's a, a little grainy and a little, shall we say, it's quite a bit of noise in the picture. Actually, this is going to work to, for us because as this was originally a painting, um, I want to machine it with a slight amount of, shall we say, brush mark in it. However, I'm going to the smooth relief tool now and I'm going to take some of the graininess out of the picture uh, to leave just a small amount and I just indicate in there that I want to uh, smooth the whole of the relief. Now this is the slider bar that you can slide up in percentage of the strength of the smoothing tool and uh, I just show you uh, a couple of uh, low uh, passes then we'll call them uh, at three percent or so and uh, you know there's really no effect at all um, so then and, and I've done it a couple of times really no effect 
that you can really see. So what you really need to do is put it up to 10% um, or somewhere in that region. And I find that, um, you know, that's a nice, um, shall we say, value to start at uh, when you're smoothing a relief. So I think I alter it now. Uh, there's two ways of altering it, of course. Uh, you can either move the slider bar or actually put the figure in and there it is and um, I think we'll leave it at that so we'll come out of the smoothing tool now and we'll zoom in a little just to have a look at the effect now this is the effect that I I wanted I wanted to leave some of the mark in there that looks quite a bit like uh, brush stroke marks uh, they're actually not. I think it's uh, noise in uh, the photograph itself or grayscale image. But uh, it gives that effect of a oil painting, which is what I'm after. I'm going to try and machine that into uh, the 3D relief. So when you're satisfied with your 3D relief as it appears on your screen, um, you can then go and um, start to pick a tool or a 3D machining strategy, then pick a tool. Um, and in this case, I'm going to do it with, uh, I'm going to do the whole machining process with a tapered 2mm ball mill cutter. So we want to machine the whole relief and we're just going to go straight in and do a finishing pass. So I uh, close, well, that's set for metal machine in there. So we close that. And what we want is to scroll down to the finishing for wood and plastic, which is here. Uh, this is a tool I actually made in the tooling list, uh, I think one or two videos back. So we, we pick it and now we alter the settings um, and I'm just showing you there that there's many different types of machining, raster and, and so on and so forth. We just want standard raster. So then you go in and alter the settings for the tool to suit the material that you're cutting. And obviously your machine you are doing the cutting with. Uh, the 6012 um, will machine very quickly, um, but we want a very good finish, and we're doing this with one um, one tool, so it's going to be a, a deep cut. <laughs> so, you know, you have to be a little conservative with your step overs. Um, however, the actual feed rate can be stepped right up with the PT6012 as I, I've done there 100 millimeters a second uh, if you step the uh, the feed rate up you have to step the RPM up as well and I think you'll notice on the video that I did uh, there is a slight amount of smoke coming off um, that is because I think there's a lot of polish build up over the 80 years or so uh, within the oak what I'm filling in now, or, or actually checking out, now this is the ramp move into the material from, at the first, at the primary cut then, at the very start of the cut. Because um, you just don't want it going digging straight in and uh, you're going to end up snapping a tool off. And I also back the feed rate off within Mark 3. Uh, now I'm setting up the... Uh, oh, setting up the material now. Um, so just put in the size of the material, in this case it's 22 millimeters, and um, I just check in the um, amount of materials left at the bottom and the orientation of the program is at the, or the zero, Z0 rather, is at the top of the block. And um, then really you, uh, I abbreviate everything, but as so long as you can understand what you are writing there, or, or to be able to understand, well, this is the the, the cut that I want <laughs> with the tool that I want. Uh, you can abbreviate as much as you like, and um, really, it's uh, as simple as that.
and uh, then you always should um, simulate it because if there's any mistakes it will show up in AtCam and in this case it's not it, 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 when I say a mistake if there was um, a piece of material protruding out of the picture and uncut uh, it would show up in a different color so then you would know oh I've made a mistake here so AtCam makes the whole process very easy well it seems to be very easy because the interface has been designed to be friendly uh, you know to whoever's operating the, the, the program and it really is as easy as what you see here Now I would encourage you, if you have a CNC machine of any type, because AtCam will run all sorts of uh, CNC machines, it doesn't really matter. Um, I encourage you to download uh, one of the AtCam uh, programs, uh, definitely AtCam Standard. It's free for 30 days and you can use it 100% you can use the, the, the whole program uh, just to find out if you like it and if you do like it you can purchase a license for half price which is a very very good deal this program is probably the most powerful um, cam program uh, on the market today so I hope you've enjoyed this video today. If you have, please press like and subscribe to my channel. And um, if you go to my channel, you'll find many uh, different types of um, interesting projects. Um, AtCam, uh, CNC routing. Uh, I even do a conversion on a, a SIG X2. I think it is, yeah, SIG X2, and uh, 3D printing, and um, yes, well, I think there's something there for everybody, uh, even furniture making and toy making. So, thank you for watching this video, and all I've got to say now is, bye for now, until next time. Bye, guys.